All right, we're back in the clock tower. Now let's do this correctly. Which is get hit in the face. Oh. It's always to do the that right way. Yeah, pretty much. See, we're off to a good start. I'm already getting hit by things. So that skeleton wall over there, we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to press that button now. Well, you said you weren't supposed to press it. You're not supposed to if you want to end the game quicker. But we don't want to end the game quicker. Also, there's this gear up here. Uh, just jump up and whip it, pretty much. And it should turn. And if you hit it enough times, a door should open. I like how in the Castlevania world, whipping everything works. Yeah, true. Well, I like the idea of just the Belmont family uses whips to solve all their problems. Pretty much. I mean, we need to get this key from that bird, so whip it. Oh, we need meat from those eggs. Whip it. Oh, need to get myself some dinner. Just gonna rip a wall. <laughs> really, no one's gonna go for Devo? I'm not going for the obvious. Alright, we're gonna jump on these gears again. Physics, part two. Yep. And this is the second attack of the harpies, by the way. They pick you up and they toss you. What a bitch. Alright, so there's that door there, but... Yeah. We're gonna skip it. You madman. I know, it's crazy. No, first we're gonna do something else. There's a reason you don't want to go through that door. You want to press that first? No, no, I want that invincibility jar. Oh. Duh. That does absolutely nothing for me. And here's a new area that we have on. Now we use the key. Annette! Richter! Richter, it's you! You're alright. I believed in you. I knew you'd come. Sorry I took so long. Oh yes! There's another girl being held here. Maria! Maria's fine. Well... What's wrong? She insisted on joining up with me. She what? You didn't stop her? You'd think that would be easy, but you haven't seen her power. Power? Hmm. Still, she's a child. She'll be in danger either way until I settle things with Dracula. And so will you, Annette. Just get as far away as you can. All right. Richter? What's wrong? Please, don't die. Come back in one piece. Promise me. Sure. Leave this to me. Ugh. <sighs> that was horrible. Let's let's go fight. Let's go fight the boss. Was the difference really just whipping a door open? Whipping a door or two open? Yeah, because you need to get the key in order to unlock that door. Also, let's get onto this platform. Or not. Or... Let's keep trying. Uh, come on! <laughs> Let's keep trying. Ah. There you go. There you go. Perseverance, yeah. Belmont's greatest strength. All right, now let's fight the boss of stage seven. Oh no, it's a cloak. Oh, I recognize you. It's a flying that. bed sheet. Benchies can kill, you know. This is Shaft's Holy ghost. shit! He summons monsters and they hurt you. Like, the wyvern from the first stage. Oh, so as you shall. So does he Turning summon all undead versions of the bosses you've previously fought? Uh, kind of, yes. I mean, that's the behemoth. Yep. And then you have the wyvern from the first stage. And I think really that's pretty much it, besides the bats they throw around. Also, don't touch him because he curses you. That's pretty painful. 
he does look rather stylish though. If he's nothing but a bed sheet. It's a stylish bed sheet. No, it's not. It's tattered at the bottom. <laughs> Tatters in this season. So are long necks. What alien 18th century world are you from? <laughs> the Castlevania universe. But if you notice, I'm in a very, very nice slow yeah, yeah. health there. Do you think I can get through this? Considering there's only 30 seconds of video left. <laughs> Spoilers. I could have cut out that, you know, I... <laughs> like, went, hey, I win, even though I died. You, you sure did die there. Yep. And that was... Shaft's ghost and the proper way to beat stage 7.